what's your, your thoughts on you going to it kind of similar to feeling to last year with the confidence or more confident with, with this team? What's your thoughts on this team going in? Pretty same, same, uh, same mind, mind state. You know, uh, we can win, so just go and swing away, really. Mike was talking about the urgency that you've had for a while. Do you, do you feel that way? Not maybe desperation mode, but you know, this time of year, every game's a must. Yeah, you know, it's just you know surviving the advance from here on out. So that's what we, that's how we've been playing. Uh, I've heard Mike say it before. You know, every game's been tournament game, so we're gonna keep playing how we playing. What was the reaction when you guys realized it was gonna be a civil war game? I just found out actually. I didn't even realize that, but I'm excited though. You know, another 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 game against Oregon State. Just to get another win. I need two. You know, we only got one, so I needed two. So I'm glad we're playing them. How do you feel like you match up against this one? Great. Uh, they're pretty strong inside, so our big guys have to come to play. Roberto could really score. You know, Hollis Cook playing well too. So you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good game for sure. They got talent. Waves game Tuesday. Some of Ben's contributions late the other day. How do you feel about your your post play? Do you guys feel like you're better defensively, particularly than you've been? Yeah. Uh, you know, we got rim protector. Got a, uh, you know, the back line defense, he sees everything. So you got Ben back there talking, Wade protecting the rim, Rich in there getting rebounds. You know, if we get production from that five spot, we're real dangerous. So I'm glad, you know, everybody's picking their games up and any given night could be anybody. Is this team potentially even better than a year ago with, with the depth? It seemed like you have more numbers. Yeah, year. I believe so. Um, you know, when Jaleel comes off and he plays some, you know, he, he gives us a lot too. He might not play much, but he knows, you know, he goes in there, he's going to play hard, he's going to play defense and, you know, do what coach says. And that, that, that means a lot because going, uh, going to Vegas, we have to win four games to win this whole thing. So, you know, he's going he's gonna to have to step up too. So I think we're, we're deeper than last year, uh, more talented offensively. You know, last year we had, you know, inside was a little better and uh, our defense was a lot more polished because we had a lot more uh, experienced guys on that end. So, but like I said, you know, we've got the same mind state. Uh, we're going to go go and win this thing. How much have you thought over the last like, 48 hours about going back to Vegas and, and what you were able, individually, what you were able to accomplish there last year? Uh, I haven't really thought much on it. I'm more, you know, worried about this team. You know, last year is last year. And this year it could be anybody. You know, I just just want to be able to do what I can do what I can do to help the team win. What was that vibe like though in that building compared to the Pac-12 tournaments in LA? Uh, it was way better. You know, it was still like a college atmosphere. Uh, fans were cheering loud. It was, you know, more uh, on top of you. Uh, table Center, we couldn't really pack it, and it was more like why it was wider. So. Uh, MGM, I'm glad they moved it there. It was, it was great last year, and I know it's going to be great this year. Do you have a favorite thing to do when you go back to Vegas? I know you don't have a ton of free time. Yeah, I go straight to the barber shop right when I get there. Oh, really? just go, yeah, go back to the barber, you know, just get a good cut. Just, you know, look good, feel good, play good, you know, so. Who's your barber? Uh, his name is uh, Irwin. Yo, Blade Masters. Oh, yeah. Speaking what? of the bench, Jason, and his contributions all season have been there scoring. What's your sense of kind of how he handled that role? He played a lot of basketball before he got here. What's your sense of how he embraced sort of playing off the bench and being kind of that six man? Uh, he, you know, he took it like a champ, like he is, you know. Uh, uh, being a four-year starter, you know, he asked to go to a new school and go, go to the bench, you know. It's probably not easy, but, you know, he's like, I'll do whatever I got to do to help this team win. I'm just going to go play. And, you know, Jason, he's cold-blooded. You know, he's going to hit the shots. He's going to make shots. I was thinking about it all last night. I watched the Arizona game again, and I'm just looking. I'm like, man, this dude could shoot. Like, he one of the best shooters I ever played with. Like, just hands down, just pure shooter. Anywhere on the floor, though, not just threes. You know, he's just mid-range, you know, floaters. Just, he, he could score. It's, it's amazing. Where would you be without him? I don't even know. I don't even like thinking about that. I'm glad we picked him up late, though. He said after the game that he was going to shoot regardless late in the clutch. There, is that something he says to you guys in the huddle? Or? Nah, that's just his. That's just his attitude. You know, uh, if I get any type of space, I'm letting it go because that's how good he can shoot. That's how much confidence he has, and confidence is shoot like 90% of the battle. So, if you got it, shoot it. Is that a guy that could even do more? As I mean, as this team kind of goes into the tournament, you could look to him more and. Kind of like Wave and Ben are coming on, but could Jason even take on a bigger role even this late in the season? Oh, yeah. Just how he took over that game against Arizona down the stretch. He could do that any game. We've seen it uh, more than once this year, you know, so I'm sure he's going to do it again. What do you see in the difference in Mike the last two weeks after he kind of slumped there for a little bit? Has he seemed fresher or just seemed... Yeah, he seems like he's a little younger now. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's moving well. He's going after every rebound. 
he's playing with a lot of confidence too. And uh, yeah, it's just, you know, he doesn't want to lose. This is his last go around, just like his mind, just like his Jason's, none of us want to lose. So we're just going to give it all we got. How are your legs feeling? I mean, it's late in the air. Guys are probably feeling a little bit of fatigue. Do you feel, given the depth, do you feel any pressure now than you might have been about this time? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Um, a year ago at this time, DA got hurt, and uh, I was playing a lot, like, you know, like almost 40 minutes, like every game. So I, I do feel a little fresher because I ain't been going at it like that. But uh, I was been, I've been sick last couple, last, last week or so. So, you know, I've been sweating a lot while I was sleeping. So that's why I think I was cramping in the last game. So, just, you know, I'm just trying to stay healthy and hydrate so I can, you know, four, four games, four days. You got a little banged up in the, in the Arizona game. Are you still feeling some effects from that? No, I'm 100 percent. I'm all good. You kind of pull your hamstring and kind of tight, tight up. Right? Yeah, it just locked up on me a couple times. Yeah, when I made the layup and my arm kind of locked up on me. That's why I airballed the free throw. And uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm good now though. Joseph, a, couple, yeah. a couple players, uh, you know, like Joseph and uh, and Damian struggled in, in the Arizona game. So you guys still managed to win. Do you look at that as kind of a good thing? Like, you know, if these guys play well, in future games will be even better. Oh yeah, if one person is struggling, we got weapons where one person can take over. You know, Joe might not have 20 a game, you know. Defense is really key in on him, so it's tough, you know, for us to just give him the ball and let him go to work like we do sometimes, because now everybody's just starting to pack it in and, and just like, right, don't let Joe score, you know. So I see it's tough on him and he gets a little frustrated, but you know, it's it's hard when you're the focal point. So it's gonna take a lot of us to, uh, start start uh producing and, and really taking over so that can open Joe up and he can start to work now. You mentioned having a rim protector, rim protector now with Wade playing better and, and Ben playing better. How important is that against this Oregon State team given their size as well? Because you guys have played a couple of big teams back to back now. Yeah, it's very important. Uh, Angus Brandt down there, he's a great anchor for them. Then they got uh, Eric Moreland and uh, Devon Collier. So. Uh, you know, those guys are real tough inside. Collier's real strong. Moreland is bouncy and, and, and plays hard with, and tenacious. So we're going to have to – it's going to be a good matchup for them, you know, those three versus our three. It's going to be tough in there. So they, they got to come with it. How much different do you think this matchup is with those guys playing as well as they are compared to the last two times you guys met? Um, I, don't, I don't really remember playing them that much, you know, here. I know there they, they really kicked us inside. I don't really remember here too much, but I know that our big guys have been progressing, you know, since the year has gone on. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what they do next game, you know, just keep getting better and better, and it's the right time of year to do that. Can you John, put a finger on what's, why Dominic is struggling so much? Um, I think just the nine games uh, from the beginning and then never really getting into the flow. Uh, if, you, if you go nine games with a different point guard, different style of play and then you come in and your style of play and they've been playing a team's been playing differently you know it's kind of different and difficult to see where you fit in maybe so I just feel like he hasn't really gotten to his rhythm and his flow that's all but you know he could break out at any time you know that that man is great he's a really good basketball player so I could see him anytime going for a 20 ball in the tournament too. Talk about the big guys have they stayed confident during the what about him? Practice on the bench. Is he still? Who talking about? Dominic. Dominic. Yeah, yeah. Confidence is still there. Yeah, he's still he's still confident. You know, he's still in practice. He still he still uh, does well. Um, so yeah, his confidence still there. He's still cheering everybody on. You know, he's not being a downer. You know, he's not being negative towards anybody. You know, everybody struggles. It, it happens. So uh, you know, he's taking it well, and he just keeps working. He keeps getting his shots up. Keeps stays in the gym. He keeps talking to coach. You know getting advice from everybody, so, you know, he's taking it the, the way he's supposed to take it. Do you go in thinking four games in four days? Cause it seems like such a grind, or do you not look at it big picture like that? Uh, you know that, you know, you know that, but you can't get to game four unless you win game one, game two, so you got to take it one day at a time because that's the only way you can get to the next one. What are you telling your teammates that weren't in Vegas with you guys last year? Uh, I'm just going to tell them that the, the atmosphere is crazy in there and like like you said it is a grind so you got to be ready for that you know you got to be ready for the for the uh four games in four days so you know get your body right now just get your sleep right now and uh take care of yourself. So is it tough to come off a seven you put the seven, seven game winning streak obviously is it tough to come off such an emotional win like that over such an upset over Arizona? I don't think so I think we're going to ride it you know uh feel like we're back to where we should have been a while ago. Uh, just took a little longer, so I think we're just going to you know, keep playing how we're playing because it's surviving in advance, so we're just going to keep doing it.
you guys doing anything differently this time around for the winning streak than the earlier one this year? Doing anything differently, as in our play? Yeah. Uh, we're playing defense. Uh, in the beginning of the year, we went straight strictly offense, really, and spurts of defense. Now we're playing defense for for 40 minutes or pretty close. So that's that's real encouraging.